Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to our fourth episode on this channel, Life as a Recruit. On today's episode, we will be covering a few topics uh, on skills that are needed in the BMQ. And those of you guys already have the skills, try to maybe improve them uh, so that you guys can get better and better. And that way it will be easy for you guys to pass on a couple of things that we will be talking about uh, today. Most of you guys already know by now that everyone has to go through a thing called inspection. And what basically inspection is, is that you they really need to see if you guys are able to follow uh, attention to details. If, if things are really that simple, then they really wouldn't have this concept of inspection. Because it's just not only about keeping your things tidy, keeping everything clean. It's about paying attention to details. That's why the inspection uh, is kind of like curriculum into, into the BMQ. It's all about paying attention to details and it'll be easy for those people who have the obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, that's how I would kind of like take it in is you really, really need to pay the most tiniest details as possible. And one of the ways by which you can really ace those inspection and paying attention to details is by really really looking into things for improvement and when i say that is for example let's say you are cleaning your table your study table and when you clean it you wipe you you kind of like wipe down the surface and you would think it's done but after you have done that you really really look you really need to look into from different angles if there is any spot where there are few lints or dust lying around because when they come for inspection even though the table might look all perfectly clean they will look up for dust they will look up for tiniest thing or defect or fault in your work so for example when you are wiping down the surface of any any surface doesn't matter what make sure you're after you're done cleaning you're having a view of that surface from different angles from different heights so that in case if there's any dust that are lying around after the wipe down you can kind of like spot it and again clean it because trust me even though things look really perfectly clean they will be speck of dust or some kind of lens lying around and you will have to pay for that and another skills that you really guys need to have or develop by now is how to iron your clothes um, there will be a time and again I, I don't know people out there um, ironing is is, is is kind of like a skill to have is because when when you there, there there's a way to iron clothes it's not just like you take the iron you you heat it up and you just kind of like start rubbing the iron all over your clothes and you know it, it kind of like works out it, it, it's it's really not that simple when it comes to inspections because they really need to make sure that you have formed the crease on the right places you they will they will tell you they will kind of like give you an idea what their expectation is when it comes to ironing you just need to make sure that you are not creating any new crease uh, whatever existing crease that you that you guys have on your clothes on your shirts or garments you have to make sure that you keep consistent crease on that while you're ironing clothes so those of you guys who doesn't know how to iron please please start practicing from now because ironing skills is something that you really really need to have so that you guys again don't struggle a night before inspection and you know you're doing it all wrong and and you guys start stressing and things get really complicated going forward and another thing another skills that you really guys need to have or again those of those of you who don't know start learning how to sew uh, there will be times when you'll do your laundry um, you, you take out the, your clothes and you'll see there's a button that's loose or that's about to come off so you really need to get into your sewing 
skills to kind of like get that button repaired. There will be times when threads will get loose uh, at certain places of your garment and to avoid it further uh, ripping or further getting it further threads coming out of that garment you'll have to know how to sew it at that point so the loose doesn't get uh, so the threads doesn't get any more loose and then everything gets ripped apart so start learning how to sew clothes uh, the next one is I would say learn how to fold your clothes they will be they will give you certain measurements that you need to fold your for example you need to fold your t-shirts 20 by 20 so learn how to fold shirts because you need to and you need to you need to be standardized like if they ask you 20 by 20 and you have five t-shirts all those five t-shirts has to be 20 by 20 and yes they will be carrying a ruler with them or they will ask you guys to carry a ruler with you so when they come for inspection they know this is 20 by 20 or 15 by 15 they will measure that so again get into the habit of folding your shirts based on certain dimensions and another thing another skills that you guys really need to have is how to polish polish your boots or your shoes there will be inspection on your boots um, how shiny they are how polished they are so learn how to polish your boots it's not about just getting that shoe polish and brushing it off uh, it, it's really not that simple there are skills there are certain things that you guys really need to pay attention to to polish your boots the right way and after you guys have polished learn how to get a spit shine on your polished boots and again there will be um, a lot of videos that if you guys find out on YouTube on how to get that perfect polish shine uh, and try to learn how to do it with a brush there will be a lot of videos out there kind of kind of like give you the shortcut uh, make sure you guys also have a shine cloth that's what you really use to get that uh, shiny uh, boots after you have polished them and so pretty much we covered the inspection part of the skills that you guys really need to have and the next thing the next topic that we're going to talk about is your cleaning skills so those of you guys out there who have never cleaned a toilet never cleaned a shower never mopped a floor please please learn and start getting to practice on how to clean toilets how to clean showers how to have that perfect mopping skills to mop the floors because every single of every single individual of you will be doing that during BMQ uh, especially on a regular basis but it will be critical to know this uh, during inspection because there will be there will be times when you kind of just get the regular mopping and cleaning but you have to be uh, kind of a pitch perfect uh, when it comes inspection because they will look for the tiniest defects in your cleaning so the, the more you practice from now on how to clean toilets and showers and mopping the floors it's, it's only gonna get better in the BMQ and every single of you, every single individual of you guys will will be doing that on a regular basis in BMQ so having those skills will really really help uh, in the BMQ uh, and the last topic uh, that I would really talk about is time management skills. Um, it, it, it is so crucial and it is so important that you will be applying this on daily basis and every minute and every second. So the only way you guys can really be effective in time management during BMQ is to plan and think ahead of time. You really need to visualize certain things that you will be doing. So when you actually do it, it's all memorized and everything works as you have memorized it, as you have visioned. So time management really starts from the time you wake up from your sleep. So try and get into the habit of, of learning how to shave in a much faster way. Um, in, in, in the civilian world, you know, we wake up or whatever, we, we 
we shave, take our own time, you know, try to get the angles uh, so we're not missing any kind of spot there. But, but really, really, when it comes to BMQ, everybody's rushing, everybody's doing things in a much, much faster way. So when you see some people doing it way ahead of you in a much faster way, you will start to panic and you'll be like, oh my God, I'm, I'm running behind. Oh my God, why am I not able to do it as fast as other people? Because, you know, it gets, it, it, it all comes into practice. So learn how to shave in a much faster way. And of course, you don't want to be uh, rushing the BMQ and you're getting all cuts and that's going to be really painful. So, so try to get into the habit of shaving faster from now so that when you are doing it in the BMQ, you're not bleeding all over by getting all kinds of cuts. And another, another skills to have is learn how to take a fast shower because it's all about time, it's all about the momentum in the BMQ. There will be times when you will really have probably you know, a minute or so to take a shower because you'll be coming up, you'll be coming after the PT or whatever thing you're doing on that day, they will give you very less time to take showers. So try to learn and to have the skills how to get the fast shower by also making sure you're cleaning every part of your body. And another skill to have is to eat fast. And when I say eat fast, I'm not asking you learn how to shove all the food in your mouth and you're choking half the way. No. So there are again skills on how to eat fast. So one of the one of the things that you have to keep in mind is the only way you can eat fast is to eat uh, softer foods. And obviously the more you chew, the softer the food gets or the, the faster you're breaking down those foods so it's easy for you guys to swallow. But if you guys are having those all hard food, you're not only going to spend more time chewing it, but it's also going to be really hard and it's going to take more time. So try to, when, when it comes to choosing your foods, again, it, it depends what you guys are doing after a meal. So if it's something that you guys really, really need to rush because after eating the food, you need to get onto this task and it has to be really, really fast, then try to choose the foods that's going to be really soft and it's easy to break it down faster and let's say for any reason if you know there are no options for soft foods try to drink fluids as you are chewing your food so again it's easier for your teeth and your mouth to break it down faster and it's much easier to swallow and trust me it will also help in your digestion which which i've kind of like discussed in my previous videos how important it is to choose the right food for it to digest and get that energy on time and whatever you guys do in the BMQ you always need to think in terms of uh, you know the, the sense of urgency so whether it's whether you're eating whether you are showering whether you are ironing or you're cleaning you always need to have the sense of urgency because when you do certain things, you need to do it in a way that there's always a sense of urgency. And that's how you can get faster and faster on the tasks that you'll be doing. And that's how you can have that time management skills set up so that you're not missing uh, the time frame that you have kind of like uh, discussed on with your mind. And, and, and lastly is try to learn or try to get into the habit of making faster decisions and this can be anything so let's say for example uh, you're, you're waiting in the cafeteria to eat food or uh, sorry waiting in the cafeteria lineup to choose what you're gonna eat so while you're lined up try to see for the menu and decide kind of like from by standing there that what kind of food you'll be eating don't just wait till the last minute where you see the food and you're kind of like trying to figure out or oh, should I go for this or should I go for that no that again the more time you take on any single task you're, you're gonna fall behind on other tasks so again try to make decisions or try to take decisions and make quicker decisions ahead of time so so think fast that way it will help you to make quicker decisions and it whether it be anything it, it, it really doesn't matter so always try to get into doing things with a sense of complete urgency.
doesn't matter what so again to go go through really quick we talked about you know try to have the skills for inspections uh, make sure you guys know how to uh, iron your clothes know how to get things organized um, and learn how to fold your clothes learn how to sew and have those sewing skills and uh, learn how to polish and get a shiny polished finished boots and get into the habit of learning how to clean toilets clean showers mopping floors and you know wiping down every surface with that perfect finish so that you don't you don't miss any spot or there's no dust after even you've cleaned up and lastly again we talked about time management so you know learn how to have or learn to have skills so that you can have a faster shave uh, taking faster shower eating fast walk fast and doing things with a sense of urgency so I hope this video really helped you guys to understand what's what's all the urgency about and how to have the time management in the BMQ and again guys try to have those skills uh, develop from now on and learn all those things that we have discussed so you guys can do a better job in the BMQ uh, thanks for watching we will be making another video uh, sometime next week we will be talking about the topics uh, the classroom topics uh, that you guys learn in the BMQ uh, so stay tuned sub subscribe to the channel and uh, take care guys